day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I gotta go. You know, you asked, what is it that they, uh, one of you asked, what is it that they see? And, and you know, as far as the black, you know, think about it. And, and, and I might be wrong, but isn't there a strength that people just naturally see when they see us? When we see each other, I, I just naturally see it. And I don't know if that's a, uh, I don't know if that's a spiritual thing. I don't know if that's a, 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 a thing that has evolved over time, but some people see and, and, and they're afraid. You know, some people are afraid of the unknown. Um, but maybe that's what it is. It you is know, that's it. go ahead. It is. So look, what I want to say, the reason I brought that scripture just read in the temptation of Christ. Yes. The behind it is saying is what profits a man to gain the whole world and loses his soul? The whole purpose of my focus is. This, this vain glory, but that's what they were trying to sell the devil showing Jesus is vain glory. And Jesus said, It is written, I'm not going to worship anything but God. Right. And when we do things that, when we do those things that causes all of us to get effects in our spirit and so forth, it's, 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 it's because you're not worshiping God, you're worshiping the devil. I ain't talking about the people back. Spirit. I'm talking about the people who does the atrocities that cause them to get back to the spirit. They, they need to understand. We need to be able to preach to them and say, look, God is, don't, if whatever's motivating you to do things that hurt other people, to oppress people, to little people, discriminate people, whatever you want to call it, that's, you're going to be pursuing vain glory. And if, my question is in that scripture is, what profits you? to gain the whole world and lose your soul. There is a, Pastor, there, there, there is a, 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 a parallel that has to be drawn because I'm talking to a man about giving up all that he has in order to see something he had no familiarity with. No, I'm just talking to the women. I mean, it's hard to hear walk and, to a rich white guy and say, hey man, you need to quit being rich and white and, 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 and you know, give up this and join the kingdom of God. What, I, what has not been articulated, I think, well enough is that sin kills everybody sin kills the sinner well how can you how can you this man killed murdered this boy out in the street how did they affect his life what is he going at right now that cop that killed floyd is in bad state if floyd is or worse because he's still got a right to god that he's got to deal with him it's, you're, you're talking, it's still play out it's still play out you're talking in the spirit story. world elder See, these people, you gotta, you gotta really look at this. These people are living in a natural world. The, the spiritual world really doesn't exist to the majority of them. They don't see it. Uh, even people in the body of Christ don't recognize that this spiritual warfare is the life that we live. That's it, that's the bottom line. We're in, a, we're, we're, we're in back every day from time, even when we sleep, our minds are being bombarded with the with attacks from the enemy. So uh, there, there, the thing me. about it is, even uh, 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 you can tell you why y'all talking. So there, there, there is a manifestation of that loss in our carnal, you know, even in our carnal existence. I can trace the sin that I did against God back to stuff that I lost in the carnal realm. So the words that he who sows to the flesh that other flesh reap corruption. That's whether you saved or not. Whether you saved or not, you're going to reap corruption when you sow to the flesh. He who sows to the spirit shall the spirit reap life everlasting. That's going to be that's that those principles apply to both the spirit realm and the, and they manifest in the carnal realm. For yeah. the saved and the unsaved. Yeah, but let's break for a second and finish the video. I want to hear continue with Brother Jackie. Uh, because we said Judas also the remembrance of him. And mm -hmm. I, I can remember him. It was 913 too. Yeah. Go ahead, Brother Jackson. Go ahead and leave that. All right. Let us, let us, everybody have everything? Yeah. All right. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, you are worthy, so worthy to be praised, honored, and glorified. We worship you this morning and we worship you this day. Lord, let, uh, let 
not only the conversation that we've had this morning, but the ones that we will have um, uh, in the future, um, be such that we continue to grow and continue to um, improve on in our intimate relationship with you, God, our Father. And let others likewise do the same. Or at least let us be able to positively influence them spiritually with the, with the light of, of, of your son, that they may come to, to know him and then come to know you, dear Father. Dear Lord, we thank you for the blessings that you've bestowed upon us. Uh, we have not earned them. Uh, the, the blessings are unmerited. And we know that it is simply because you are who you are, dear Father, that you have given us these things through your son, Jesus Christ, who, who lived, who, who, who suffered, who died for us. His pure blood was shed for us. His body was, was, was battered and bruised uh, for our sake so that we would have a way back to you. And Jesus, that is the reason why we pause now uh, to, 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 to give you that glory, to, to remember you for who you are, the Son of God, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. And we thank you for all things that you have, have done for us. And now, dear Jesus, we take this bread and we take it and we eat it in remembrance of you, Holy Son of God, amen. And now, dear Father, we take what we have in this cup. It is a representation of your pure blood. But your pure blood is real, dear Jesus. It is the blood that for anyone who believeth in you and repents of their sin can reestablish that, can establish that relationship with the Father because of what you've done. Dear Jesus, we thank you. We, we, we can't even estimate truly what you have done for us. Nevertheless, you, you've done it so that the Father could be glorified and likewise the Father glorifies you. And with this ceremony, we together glorify you as well according to the will of the Father. We thank you for all that you have done, dear Jesus. Strengthen us. Give us that stamina, that endurance that we need in the spirit so that in the face of challenges, in the face of, even in the face of our enemies, dear Father, that we may do right by you and glorify you and worship you in all that we do. Dear Jesus, we thank you and we love you. And now we drink in remembrance of you. Amen. Amen. God the Father, we thank you for all that you've done. Bless my brothers. Bless all those who hear this message. Help us to continue to improve upon our relationship with you, dear Father. Yes. There is so much that you that you want to bring to us as we have continued to learn that your ways are not our ways. And Father, so we want to learn your, your ways and not be stuck on, on, on the things that, that we perceive in the, in the carnal world. We thank you for all that you have done and continue to do. We say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. Brothers, I will check you guys uh, later on. You know, I hate to have to leave you, but you got some other things you got to do. Yes, and this is also in the. This is also for the for the the, the the kingdom of God. So you know that's the only reason why I'm walking away. Amen. Keep doing Amen. Your job, Amen. All right. Peace. Peace out. God bless. Yeah. Uh, for the rest of what I was trying to, I, I just need to make sure that uh, my direction is to make sure people that in the body or think in the body, or even those who need to come, the shit coming to the gospel, is to understand that. We don't want to cheat generation to generation to faith. It's, it's, it's important. It, and I think we can, I think that's, that's what the gospel is trying to say. The good news is you don't have to lose what you give up. You'll gain more if you give up. Get more for the white brother is that you're not, nobody's going to replace you. You're not trying to replace you. We're just trying to make sure you understand that there's other room. There's room for everybody to get at the table. Uh, the only people that you know, have been through our history anyway, the ones that are going to lose something, and they ain't going to lose much, is that 1%. They got 99% of, of the wealth. They would. They, they really would. They, they got enough to leave. They can still keep 85%. And still, baby, bless the rest of the world. 
Well, Pastor, I, I have uh, something just dropped in my spirit. What's that? We are trying to replace a part of them, one third of them. We are. We're you trying to replace you. their dead spirit. Yes, sir. <laughs> with the spirit of God. So we, yes, we are trying to replace a portion of you who are out there. Um, if, if, if you are not in this body. Um, another thing that, that dropped in my spirit while we were doing the communion, is the same thing that we're, we're, we're talking about uh, applying to those who are in the church should apply to those who are outside of the church. It meaning, does. meaning these uh, Caucasian brothers who are out here in the streets and these uh, brothers of color who uh -huh. are out here in the streets, street, you yeah. know, because uh, they're they're seeking a power and authority, you know, that is short term. Matter of fact, that 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 puts a requirement on their lives that sh actually shortens their lives Big dramatically, time. you know, yeah. even to the, uh, the, the the privileges that they have. Uh -huh. The people of this world that are in power shorten that, you know. Yeah. And uh, so, one way or another, their lives are short. They're, 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 the streets make them short, or the the privileges that they enjoy in the in the streets are short lived because they're in prison yeah. and they have no freedom. You know, so, yeah. uh, there, 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 there is a place where Pete Lee takes us. I mean, uh, uh, Lee uh, takes us. He talks about the death of the individual. He constantly talking about you're gonna to have to die, you're gonna to have to die to self, and basically die to self. And that's what we're we're preaching. We're really preaching not acquisition of something initially, but the death of something. For Christ said, except a man lose his life, if he finds his life, he'll lose it. But if he loses his life for my sake, he'll find it. So what he's basically teaching us on an individual level is to detach ourselves from the carnality of any the materialism of any environment that we find ourselves in, to detach from that. And to grow spiritually, for it says if you you sow to the flesh, you shall of the flesh be corrupted. But if you sow to the spirit, you shall the spirit be life everlasting. He's literally trying to teach us to live above the limitations of the carnal realm, and it will manifest. But uh, if we try to make the carnal realm better, that's what uh, that's what I, I, I saw happening in the, in the when Christ preached in the beginning in what we're preaching now. Christ did not go about trying to establish social order or change in the, in the society that way. He went solely to change the individual in that society, whether they be Roman, whether they be Jews, Gentiles, whether they be masters or slaves. He didn't even ask them, he told them not to seek to be free. Paul did in his teaching. If you're a slave, serve God as a slave. If you're a master, serve God as a master, remembering that you also have a master who is in heaven. Yeah. So he never he, he never jousted with social order. He never did. He, he 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 focused on the condition of the soul of that individual. And if that soul was right, then he was going to manifest around him the righteousness of God. So the external pictures don't work. And I think we, we, the law showed that. You can have all the laws in the world, even civil rights laws showed that. 60 years ago, we were dealing with the same thing. Yeah. We were dealing with this day because those laws are in place, but people's hearts are still corrupted. Well, it, yeah. it wasn't It wasn't of God, and nothing that is not of God lasts. Permanent. You know, brother, period. You, you, you bigger, you'll get slapped by saying that. <laughs> it, it, but the truth is the truth. You but know, and, and if they true, slap right? Jesus, they gonna slap me. But I, I tell you this, uh, we're, we're Jesus went about giving people victory in the spiritual realm. Period. It's overlaid. It manifests, and, and, and it would manifest in their lives in the physical realm. Yeah. So, like it said, he went around healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. That is our mantle. That is our objective. That is our priority. So we need to grab these these spiritual weapons, which is the word of God. We need to put on the whole armor. You know, we, we tend to 
to forget those those scriptures, you know, uh, in these days. And when, and even when it, they are brought up, you know, put on the whole armor of God, you know, uh, to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah, but it also said, take up the sword of the spirit. <laughs> you know, you, you're, you're not taking up a sword and not going to battle. You know, because those are offensive weapons. So once you get to that point, after you put on the whole armor, which is pretty much renewing your mind, you know what I'm saying? And then you 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 take this word and you go forth and you start inflicting pain to our mortal enemy, which is the devil. And we conquer the spiritual realm and in turn this physical realm will change in the lives of those who have been free. So we're freeing slaves. We're just not freeing people who are enslaved physically. It's spiritually. The freedom that we're giving is spiritual, which will affect their lives so that they will be free physically. Because you can you can be incarcerated and be free. Free than the one that's got you bound. Yes. What did Jesus so, didn't follow it? He said, you have no power with me except you can keep from the ball. Yeah, yeah. Now, the question they are saying is, I guess we probably need to find the, uh, what do you mean, social order. And, and Christ not talk about this. So I need to make sure I, have a, I got the same balance that you have, but I'm not sure. Like, with the key attitude, is that a social order? Or yeah. Order? It's, a, it's just, well, I think what we kind of, Somebody said, I think it might have been Chris that said that, that the book, or was it, it was uh, our other brother uh, that we haven't seen in a couple of days. Uh, he said that the Bible was a book of government. You, you and, say and, that. And the king, who is that? Chris said that? I said, you say that. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, I, I, the Bible I, I, is about, all about a kingdom. Yes, it is. And, and, and we are ambassadors of that kingdom, and we bring our kingdom in our domain right. and in our domain just like any other ambassador that is considered the land hey, of where you come from you know I, you know it's funny i don't think when i when i when i remember jesus talking i don't i don't i don't remember him talking about slavery he doesn't no, he, he never did. He never did. You know what he... That was in a letter with other people, but not Jesus. Yeah, it, 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 it was Paul that, I think, addressed it. But it was Paul that addressed it. It wasn't Jesus. Uh, Jesus dealt with the soul. Jesus dealt with, When he told the, the Romans, he said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it was, my servants would fight. So when he came, he established the, the, the difference between the kingdom of the world and the kingdom of God. But the kingdom of God is nonetheless a, a real kingdom. Right. They had rules, regulations, you know, responsibilities, benefits, so forth and so on. And they are well documented in the scripture. It's, it's, and they do manifest in our lives. I mean, you can have money, but can you have healing? Isn't is social order also to forgive people? Is that part that, of That's a part of our social order. That, that's deep. And it works. That's it really works. It, it's a part of our social order. And if you imply it in the cardinal realm, it works. It works. Right? We are empowered in the spirit realm to forgive. Exactly. So I'm saying that Jesus taught that, right? He taught yeah, to forgive. Right? But, but his 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 uh his focus was to get that person connected with the problem, and then the empowerment comes to forgive. But I'm saying he taught he taught those concepts, those principles too. Well, forgiving, right? So one more time, I can't hear him for some he reason. Talked, he talked about forgiving, right? Yes. He talked about forgiving. I mean, I mean, so what y'all need to tell me to separate, and I think Chris probably wanted to, what part of social order you think we're not supposed to talk about? I think when we try, when we employ uh, man's laws to correct mankind, it's almost like trying to build a, a strong house with bad bricks. You can't build a strong house with bad bricks. So the law didn't work in the Old Testament. They never could, you know, get it quite right because the people were broken. Right. And, and, well, and the, the law, people were broken. The law did exactly what them. it was supposed to do. Yeah, the, law, the the society is going to be broken as long as the people are broken. The thing that had to happen is the people had to get fixed, and then they will inherently manifest 
a, a, a fixed society, the proper, proper uh, distribution and application of power. So just to put laws in place, and we've seen it, and I thank God for it because it validates the scripture. The law never changed the hearts of men. Right. And when they got the opportunity, they will always revert back to what was in them, just like with Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump did not make these people bigot. Mr. Yeah. Trump made it, it made it all right for them to express their, 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 their biases and their bigotries and their hatred. His, his the oversight over overtone that he gave was, yeah, it's all right to be a bigot again. And they did it. And they're still doing it. So nothing really got fixed with the um, when I say nothing got fixed. The rules and regulations got big, but people were still dying and going to hell with those hearts. You, you see what you're saying? If you teach a person to hate, you, you're sending them to hell, so you teach another generation, so you can be a closet bigot as long as you're on the planet. But when you leave the planet, if you still got that hell in you, you're going to hell. So Jesus' thing was to fix the source. Go to the go to the soul of that individual and get that fixed, and the rest of it will manifest itself. But you know, Jesus, Jesus also fed the 5,000. Oh, yeah. Jesus oh, yeah. Fed. That was, a, and, and that same, some of the people in that 5,000 talk with people But remember when Jesus read the scripture, the book of Isaiah, he came to heal the broken heart, the second mm -hmm. free, the captives, right? Mm -hmm. Is that not part of social order? <laughs> Well, when, 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 I, when I think in terms of us doing that, that's the church's treatment of the world. That's our ministry to the world system. Our expectation of the world system is that it's not going to get that back because right. it's, it's, not, it's not prepared to do that. Right. You know, because the really thing that said, Jesus said, I can't give life if life more abundant. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so he wants to have abundant life now, right? I think the abundant life that he spoke in terms of was the relationship that he established for us with the Father. There was a, the ministry that he spoke in when he gave us was reconciliation. He said, so what? There, the, there is no abundant life aside from your connectedness to the Father. That yeah, brings, no, but is it, is, it, is it now, though? I mean, is it, it, oh, definitely now. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So, so, so I'm saying is when we talk about social injustice and anything else, we got, what we're saying is we're trying to preach the gospel where we do impact the behaviors and the hearts of man toward one another. It, 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 I think in terms of, a, a, a man can bark, but that doesn't make him a dog, if that makes sense. <laughs> so a person can act like they're, they, they, they're, they're, they can act like they're born again, but that doesn't make them born again. I agree with that. So, I agree so with the that. focus has to become their relationship with the father. Right. That is that is the, the foundation in, in, of all things that they reestablish that relationship again. Right. Rest is stop working. Right. So I'm saying is that if we are supposed to preach the gospel and mm -hmm. say that kingdom come, we are trying to establish a way of life here on earth as ambassadors of Christ. And, and but it's us, not a way. It is. I, the way. Well, that's the, the point. Way. So, so we want to be able to teach and say, I'm saying is that when we, we point toward Christ, we're saying is if, if you have anger, hate, and all this other stuff, if you want to profess you want to be a Christian, well, we want to point you in the direction where you need to start operating in the spirit and oh, love. I I think I know where the fault is right now. We keep forgetting that you're talking from the perspective of a saved individual, a person who supposedly has a relationship with the Lord. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, because I'm concerned about people being deceived and then teaching their children's children. Because there's one, there's one scripture I think I had in it, uh, Brother Addison, where it said that he will make the iniquity from the third to the fourth generation. Of them that hate him. Yeah. And if you, if you, so I'm concerned about this generational curse of hate. And if, if we have to be able to preach the gospel of getting Christ into the heart of man and say, look, that's not how he wants us to be. Well, these people don't know who they are. If they consider themselves saved and they're still not showing fruits of the spirit, then right. obviously they don't know who they are in Christ Jesus. And right. that's where, that's where the focus needs to be. Exactly. They need to be shown who they are in Christ right. and that it is not themselves that can make this change. Right. It is appropriated 
uh, through the gospel. It's through the word of God, through the renewing of the mind. Yes, so, yes. so these 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 fruits are not they're not the the root. You know, uh, love toward toward all is not is is it's 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 the it's the root of everything else. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. are the fruits. Yes, sir. So love is the root. Come on now. So that love, brings forth the fruit of, of 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 love toward others, of 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 being righteous and and holy, and 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 set apart, you know, to where you can you can start seeing your your failures, your shortcomings, right. and 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 accepting them as such, and replacing those with God's <laughs> word. <laughs> who tells you that that's not you anymore exactly you know what i'm saying so so the, the the bottom line is these people who are in the body don't know who they are right well, and, and i think that the pain that they're going to experience because of their transmission would teach them there's a lot you know the word talks about the deceit of the wicked should not inherit my expectation is that you call yourself you, you, you stay in the body of christ but you're not living in accordance with that then there's going to be some negative repercussions of what you're doing. Right. Uh, that is going to happen. We might be able to draw that out and to use that as a, this is happening because if then, you know, kind of thing. So like if you want the peace of God, if you want the, quote unquote, the prosperity of God, if you want the life of Christ to be made manifested in your life, then you have to comply with the standard which says, love your brother. I don't care if you're blue, black, you know, green, gray, or whatever. Yes, sir. And you know what?